Hello, my name is Rampant Mystic and welcome back to No Man's Sky. As you can see, we're boarding the Space Anomaly. We're gonna be talking to Specialist Polo because we are still missing the V3 Atlas Pass. But we are gonna continue where we left off last episode, which was seeking a monolith. I've already found one in a different system. I did some off-camera work. I'm gonna tell you about that after we speak to Specialist Polo. How was your trip, friend? You know, we're gonna continue telling a tale of wonder. I have spent many hours thinking of all the ships you destroyed. It is time for some fresh tasks. Yes, none of these have been fresh tasks. If they have found us. Ehu, nada, ehu. What is, what is ehu? I notice a strange looking message on one of Polo's panels. As the Gex spots my gaze, their brow to furrows. Whatever the news is, it isn't good. Polo hurriedly turns off the screen when they see me, forcing a smile onto my, onto an anxious face. Trying to be friendly, the Gex states that the Sentinels have started to detect the presence of their anomaly in various systems. If the Sentinels are not distracted soon, they might kill Nada and Polo before they, before their proper time. But Polo assures me not to worry. As long as we have friends, nothing will ever truly go wrong. So he wants me to kill Sentinels. But I'm already the max rank for that, so... You are here, friend. Real. Standing with Polo and Nada. I, kn I know your task is done. Polo silently bundles me in into a hug when I return, and this time I do not recoil. I do not ask why, either. There are tears in the Gex's eyes. They, th they thank me for saving their lives, however brief the respite. Polo turns the machinery. Paul turns to their machinery, hoping to craft me something in thanks. I would take, you know, let's take Starship this time. Go further, go faster, see it all. It's so class C. It's two of them though, which is interesting. You see, tank me by giving me an S-class multi-tool. I'm, I'm even gonna pay for it. Surge of War. Ah, uh, this was on the space station, the Surge of War. But it wasn't class B, which is interesting. It was class C. Anyway, we're not going to talk to Nada, we don't need to. Oh, actually, we need to still talk to Polo to get the two-hour countdown started. Perhaps you might explore a little bit more. Yeah. There it is! And 200 ammo. Guess what I just sold? I, just two minutes before I started this recording, I sold 900 emeralds, 500 in idiom, and some activated cadmium, like a stack and a half or something like that. I might actually still have some cadmium on me because I split it up. No, I don't. As you can see, I have a lot of resources on my uh, at my disposal. It's because I've dismantled everything on the freighter. I was actually looking for a freighter in between episodes, hoping to get one. It's actually kind of hard to get the one I want. Apparently, it's kind of rare. By kinda, I mean like there's special circumstances in which it spawns. I actually had to look them up. And apparently you need to be at the right system, and there has to be a conflict, and you have to get a call. Uh, that's gonna take some time, basically. So I dismantled the entire ship for no good reason. But there is a good reason for it. So yeah, we're looking for a freighter. For a larger freighter. But... Uh, that That's basically what I did. So I went to a couple of systems and I decided, you know what, I'm not gonna go back to the one we were at. I'm just gonna go to a new one. And this is the new one. We're at the monolith. And I will tell you what we're doing exactly here at the monolith, if you haven't actually guessed. Because I'm pretty sure that people that have played this game a bit more extensively will know exactly what I'm doing here. Why I picked up a convergence cube beforehand and why I was seeking a monolith. But let's read out the monolith text first. They can't give you stuff, but actually we don't need to read out the monolith text. Do we pass dead impossible? Yeah, let's let's see we read it out. I see a strange vision. Blue light pours from the monolith. As if a curtain has been dropped within. It's Corvax casing. Really, I need to go find a casing now. Isn't it a convergence cube? I thought it was gonna be a cube. I hear a gentle hubbub of voices and catch a familiar smell in the breeze. I cannot remember my home, but I know that this doorway leads there. I ache for a past I cannot remember. 
every inch of my soul wants to make the leap back. I look to the skies and the infinite beyond. Can I truly abandon my journey when it has only just begun? Step back and uh, pass or, you know, I'm gonna resist temptation. I try to capture a memory of those sensations before turning away. The spirit that dwells here admires my decision. I am rewarded. Standing with a Corvax and a Corvax casing. Guess what I can't do anymore? Talk to the monolith. I mean, interact with it. Oh, no, I meant to press eight. We're summoning back the Colossus because I'm gonna actually search for another monolith now. So yeah, by now I'm pretty sure you you know what I'm doing. Really? There isn't another one here on the planet. Okay, we need to go to one of the moons on this planet. Hopefully find a monolith. It's either that or I need to actually... We need to actually go to one of the other sides of the planet. We're gonna go to the moon. Yes, I was at the tropical moon. I was scouting it out for a possible base construction planet moon thing. It's too orange though. Honestly, it's just really orange during the day, so uh, sort of sort of said no to that. Well, there might actually be free landing over there. There it is. I believe. Oh, this is actually an operation center, a manufacturing plant. I think it is, at least. Looks like it. Navigation data, which I'm just gonna destroy. Okay, let's seek out our... Exocraft. Wait a minute. The moon counts as... Summoning station. Wait a minute. Why wasn't my Exocraft at the summoning station, though? There it is. I, where's my exocraft? It's not on this planet. Oh, it's on. It's there. It's ha it hasn't actually loaded out. Right. I was like, wait a minute. I didn't summon the exocraft on this system. Ah, oh, it's not a manufacturing plant. Oh, this thing can detect monoliths, I suppose. Oh, I'm not gonna bother though. Uh, 80, 80, 80 is fine. No signal fine. It's fine. It's more than fine. Let's count for a monolith, I guess. Alien monolith detected. Where though? Over there. It's 10 minutes away via the Colossus, but we're not gonna be traveling by Colossus. It's... It's fun for the first three minutes. Then it gets slightly boring. Then it gets a bit more fun when you find something interesting and you keep traveling with it, then it's like really boring because... It's a rare occasion that you're gonna find something with it while traveling, but you can find stuff. There's a lot of stuff that you won't miss when traveling by Colossus just because it's a lot slower. We are almost there. I actually saw the drop pod, if you saw it to the left of the ship when we just passed it. But it's not necessary. Because, as I said, we are already at max slots. I, I tested it, by the way. I went to a couple of space stations. None of them wanted to sell me. Uh, it wouldn't even let me interact. Ooh, that's a nice creature. Scan it. Scan it and take a picture. Just scan, then picture. Nope, don't wave at it. Stop waving at it. Okay, is that the cutest thing you've ever seen? Look at it. Time to kill it. There's actually- oh, that, I'm not gonna kill it with a terrain manipulator, that's not happening. What are you supposed to be? You know what? You're supposed to be dead. That's a nice mantis. Corvac- oh right, we are in a Corvax world. I, I forgot. I'm just so used to the gek. Wait a minute. I'm pretty sure I didn't scan that. Metal fingers? No. Okay. We don't care that much. Okay, now let's do... I'm not gonna read this, I'm just gonna locate a portal. So, from my understanding, there should be one on every world. I'm sorry, I'm just locating a portal, then I'm moving on. 
Oh, you can still talk to it afterwards. I didn't know that. Okay, I guess we were reading it. Pillar of something. Past dead traveler. A child emerges from the monolith. It takes a few moments before I realize that it's me. I look carefree and innocent. The little one stares up at my exosuit and tries to see me through my visor. The child suddenly starts to weep and cling to my knees. It implores me never to leave. It doesn't want me. It doesn't want to be alone. I should stay here forever. We should be reunited, whole again, once more. I'm actually gonna stay. Let's see what happens. The child withdraws and shakes its head. I try to embrace it. It turns to dust. Your standing with the Corvax has decreased. Okay, that's a new one. The animals on this planet are fat and have antlers. I don't know why I'm scanning it. Yeah, let's go to the portal. It's actually relatively close by. But I'm gonna go in space. It's just gonna speed up things a lot. Let's check out these frigates, freighters. No, none of them are actually the type I want. Yeah, I've been hunting for a freighter. Like a, for a very long time, honestly. And yeah. I went to the wiki and the wiki basically just turned me down. <laughs> yeah, I just said, look, it, these are very special circumstances and the ship is rare and yeah, good luck. That's... It was kind of a long text, that's basically the too long didn't read part of it. So yeah, finding that vessel that I wanted to buy and didn't have the money like a couple of episodes ago, that might happen in 20, 30, 40 ish episodes. Hopefully sooner. Hopefully a lot sooner. Because that this frigate is getting kind of small. This freighter, sorry, is getting kind of small. Now I have ten frigates, and I'm sending out constantly two missions. I'm planning on getting five more so that I can do three missions at least. And I can do three missions with like three-ish ships, two to three ships. I want a full complement. This is a manufacturing plant, isn't it? Mm, doesn't look like it. I don't see any sentinels, so... Okay. This is the portal. So, up till now you know I've been seeking a portal, so there's only one reason I could be seeking a portal. I'm going somewhere. That is correct, uh, but you would be wrong to assume that I know where I'm going. Yeah. Yeah, you just, you heard me correctly. That was not mispronounced. You would be <laughs> incorrect and assuming that I know where I'm going. I actually have no idea where I'm going. This is not part of a quest is as well, if you're wondering if they've added something new to the game. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add random coordinates and go somewhere. Anomaly event. Yep. I should request the planet's address, you know, this is the planet's address. If anybody wants to visit it. I don't see a point, there's millions of it like it. Uh, anyway, let's activate the portal. The Stargate, sorry, the Stargate. Activate the Stargate. And we are just randomly entering 16 digits because we can. And it should lock in in theory. Last one I did, the, the only one I've done actually like this, locked in. It was fine. It gave me an error, but it was fine. And I believe the error is given here? No, it's not! Wait a minute, the last one gave me an error. That's weird. Yeah, it gave me something like coordinates incorrect uh, sending to nearby system or something like that. Oh well. Thing is that once you exit through a portal, I didn't know this, you cannot jump, you cannot open the map, you cannot call your freighter. You need to actually go back through the portal, and this destination is not kept for some reason. I thought it would be by going to the space station, but it's not kept. So anything we see here, we're gonna be... this is the only time we're gonna see it because, oh, let's face it, I'm not gonna remember the coordinates of this world. So let's see. Let's see where we are. Uh, okay, I don't see a space station, I think. And you see, when I try to open the map, galactic navigation of unavailable, portal interference. 
And yeah, I don't see a space station, so we actually didn't go to the airless planet. Cadmium. So this is a red star, as I suspected, because most red stars are uninhabited. So we are just gonna go back through the portal again. Freezing planet, of course. Of course, it's a freezing planet. It's a watery freezing planet, but it's a freezing planet. So we're gonna go in again and try to enter a random portal again. <laughs> uh, this is fun, isn't it? I'm just gonna do this once, but I actually want to go to the space station. To the random space station. I kind of feel lucky today. Let's go through the gate. And you can't you can't access the gate through the terminal as well. You just have to go through it. There's no other way around it. You go through that gate once, you have to go back. Which is I, I guess it's understandable because you could just pick up random coordinates for like the center of the galaxy, and then you could just go there and finish your mission or whatever. But this way I can't call anything, I can't call the Atlas Station, the Anomaly Station, sorry. I can't call the Anomaly Station, I can't call my freighter, I can't do anything, I'm just stuck there. So there's no cheating, if anybody's wondering. That's kinda nice. So, let's try again, we're gonna try with the dinosaur figure this time, twice actually. This, 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 and again a dinosaur. Oh, there's more, uh, this one. There you see, Atlas Transport Error. This is the message I got the first time, by the way, when I tried this. I guess it's just, uh... It's, it's not a correct, uh, coordinate or something. It's gonna randomly spew me out on one of the planets in a specific solar system. Well, a specific solar system is... Not for us. We're just taking it randomly. And... Hopefully it's not a freezing world. No, it's a radiation world. I saw the symbol. Volatile windstorms. This planet is. They will show up here, by the way, I believe. Yeah, they do. But even if I upload them, nothing's actually gonna stay there because as soon as you try to find them afterwards, they're not gonna be there. Or at least that's my observation. And there goes our launcher fuel. We care about the space. I'm not sure if there's gonna be a space station here. Let's see where we landed. Oh, there is a space station here. Everything looks green. Is this a green? St oh, right, the Atlas Pass V3. I forgot. It required emerald, didn't it? There's one more thing, though. As soon as I land, I'm gonna show you. I did that. I didn't know. I found out by accident. Yeah, this was the weirdest landing ever. So apparently, let me move this. No, I, I didn't need to move this. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Apparently, there is something here I can build, which is the captured nanode. Unique, valuable curiosity. At the seed containing zonally shifted quasi stellar substrate. Warning do not allow matrix to commune with this dimensional space. Don't know what it does. We are about to find out. Actually, we're gonna find out when we get back to the portal. I have a feeling that the game might crash if if this thing is supposed to do something specific. Geometric isotope something something classy. Are we on a wealthy system? Medium supply by the looks of things. Yeah. To get world medium supply. We will check out the planets from space. See what's going on in our new ship. I'm still really happy about this ship. So, this we found out is a radiation planet or whatever. And we don't have an access to them. We, even if I tried the portal, by the way, it just says galactic uh, portal interference, uh, warp unavailable, something like that. Ooh, what's that planet after this one? It's a frost planet, isn't it? 
It's way too wide, it's gotta be a frost planet. Probably a sub-zero or something. Yeah, sub-zero planet. And there doesn't appear to be any more here. I could be wrong, but there don't appear to be any more here. So we're actually gonna go back. Yeah, I wanted to show you this. Uh, you know, it's a way of randomly exploring something and you're never gonna go ba get back to it because you don't know where you are. <laughs> you literally don't, you can't find out. You don't even have a map. And even if you do have a map, I mean, if you have a map, at the very least, you can set destination, I guess. But you still, you won't be able to tell where you are, truly. But yeah. At least we, at least I showed you this uh, little trick, I guess. I guess you can call it a trick. There's probably been a million people that have done this before me, but... It is interesting. There's a drop pod. I don't know if you saw it like right next to the portal. I just saw it over here. Somewhere. Nope, nope. That's where it is. There it is. Oh, the birds. Oh, it's one of those, uh, what was it, eight? No, nine? Yeah, nine. Oh, I love these. How can you not? Look at him. Let's go back. Please land. And we have landed. Oh, yeah, if you're wondering, you cannot build a base computer here as well. Uh, let me show you. I, believe, uh, I don't remember what the error was, but you can't build it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is the thing? Oh right, that's why I can't build it because it's not there. Right, right. Sorry about that. I knew you couldn't build it, but I don't remember what the reason was. Uh, it happens. I f I'm forgetful. It happens. Yeah. I was going to build the Nana thing. I guess. Yeah, let's build it now. Oh, there's uh, two free words over there. And because I'm lazy, uh, I actually hotkeyed my my exocraft. No, I'm just hotkeyed it. That's actually really close, but I'm way too lazy, so I hotkeyed my exocraft so, so I can just spawn it and go where I need to go. Corvax word for retreat, okay. So, let's try and install the thing. Uh, not install, create the thing. Captured nanode. Not sure what this does, but uh, create a captured nanode. Captured nanode. Hmm. What can I do with this? Not sure what I can do with this. Is it worth anything? Yeah, a thousand units. Hmm. Maybe I should just pin the formula for remember it's again. Find modified quanta. Oh, it did say about something like nano building. I guess. Find modified quanta. What is modified quanta? I believe this is a copper. Yeah, it's a copper planet. So we're actually gonna have to go to a green star now. Ooh, you're big and fishy. Look at a thing. It looks like a fish. With looks like fish crab thing. And it looks angry. With let me get the sun here. Yeah, this was, a, this was probably a bad idea to get the sun here. Maybe over there. It has like spider like fangs. And it's missing two legs! Oh, the poor thing. And we have fins. Yellow fish fins. It's kind of nice. Time to kill it. Let's turn around. Nah, no, I'm kidding. 
I'm kidding, I'm not, I'm not killing you, I'm kidding. Or am I? I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Let's open up the map. Let's see where we're going. So we want a green star. Why is my custom waypoint 3.68 light years from here? Where is my custom waypoint at? Okay, never mind. So we care about blue planets. Blue stars to be a bit more precise, not blue planets. This is purple. Oh wait, we needed emerald and we want uh, green green ones. Possibly with life forms on them. Hopefully with life forms on them. Struggling, no. I would still rather have a wealthy economy and a high level of threat. Okay, let's go. Because the high level of threat means more combat. Which means that more frigates can get attacked. Which means that I might have the possibility of spawning that rare ship I want. Oh. It's highly unlikely, but it is possible. Let's go to the space station first. I wonder if this modified quant it says find. That sort of leads me to believe that it's gonna be somewhere on a planet. I think. I'm still thinking that they're gonna be selling it somewhere, but. I should check the trade terminal here just in case. I think I've seen Quanta somewhere. Pillar of Night C Class. Seriously, you're a wealthy star system! Stop selling junk. Ah, I gotta complain about the multi tool on the freighter all day long. Alright. I just noticed this, by the way, uh, like just before I started the episode. It actually has your data here. It's kind of cool. A modified quanta. Modified quanta, 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 no quanta. There is bromide salt, though. Yeah, why do I care, though? <laughs> why do I care is the big question. Is this find? I could be finding it on somebody's ship, you never know. Let's see. Let's check out your ship. It might have modified quanta on it. Can I send stuff to my ship? No, of course I can't through here. I actually need dehydrogen jelly. And tritium, you have everything I need. It's for freighter fuel, by the way, if you're wondering. It's 20 jelly for and a thousand tritium. I have a lot of stuff that I like. And I need exactly a thousand. I don't need any more. And we're selling him. We're sending him straight to the freighter. That's gonna be done off camera. Uh, maybe. I think I sent that to the exosuit. It's, it's entirely possible. No, I did not. That's good. Alright. So, we have a captured nano, we need modified quanta, which we don't know how to get yet. It says find though, it doesn't say, it doesn't say build or like uh, build or find or buy or whatever. Most of the time it says build or, fi or find. Boiling planet, it, it has emerald so we are gonna go there, but let me first check out the other ones. Come on, scan. Incandescent planet. Hmm, I might check that one out. I forgot what incandescent mean, meant in terms of planeteering. Anyway, there should be one more planet here, right? Yeah, there's uh, three planets, one moon. We've only seen two of them. Freighter just warped in, but I don't care. Oh, there, there's the last one. I mean, I do care a little bit. Where, where did they warp in, though? Oh, I hate this. You just like spin around all day until you find where, what you're looking for. That's the planet. There's gonna be a moon next to it, but I, I don't have time to bother with moons, really. Rotting planet, no. Oh, there's the moon. 
We're going to that one, right? Yeah, yeah. So let's check out the moon quickly. How far away is this planet? Kind of really close. Interesting thing is, it's a minute away. It's uh, 13 minutes away by pulse and ball push. Oh, well, by, by boost. Oh boy, my tongue there got twisted so badly. And yet it's uh, it's 13 minutes by boost and 40 seconds by pulse drive, which is weird. It should be a lot faster by pulse drive. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's see. Can I actually? see the moon now. Nope. Come on, the moon might be interesting. Come on. Come on. Show yourself. Show yourself, moon. What are you? Okay. I hate this. The moons are like the hardest to scan. You need to be like right next to them. I don't know why, but they're really hard to scan. Come on, pulse. Pulse jump. Oh, this was interesting. And I got stuck. Um, how do I get out? Apparently not like this. No, seriously, how do I get out? No, please let me out. I don't want my ship destroyed because it has a lot of technology that I value. I don't want to get destroyed. How did I get in here? Okay, incoming message, what is that? May I request the honor of joining your fleet? Let's see first what you are. You're a trade specialist. You are a no. Yeah. Your fuel consumption is too much. I'm still not out, am I? Yeah, I'm not out. I'm not moving anywhere. Please let me out. Please, please let me out. Please. Pretty please. please there's gotta be something I can do. Please. I mean, short of destroying you, what else can I do? Oh, this is annoying. No, I'm just gonna stay in one place so that my shields can recharge because... Ugh. You know, I will open fire on you. Please let me out. This is all your fault, come on. I think I'm out. No, I'm not. Okay, time for you to die. Not the warp drive shields. Oh, this is annoying. Like, seriously. I have no idea what's what's going on and how I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, I think I'll got I have to call it a day and just like uh, you know. I'm gonna go mine the emerald. I'm gonna have to actually reload the save because Short of destroying the freighter, which I'm not sure we can do. The frigate, actually, sorry. I'm not entirely sure if that's even possible. I do see damage numbers, I believe. Overheat. No, it's not even allowing me to shoot outside, only here. Come on. Yeah, I don't think I can destroy this thing. Oh, but I can kill its the cargo from here. Oh, there's a no. You know what? I'm, I'm and local signal issued. I don't care. All right. Anyway, my name has been Rampant Mystic. Hope you enjoyed this episode of No Man's Sky, and uh, hope to see y'all in the next one. Hopefully, I won't be stuck by then. <laughs>